Hey everyone, I want to showcase something I made, a very basic macro in Foundry that I thought was pretty cool and I haven't seen done before. I don't know if other people are doing it, just not documenting it, but it, to me it's freaking cool and I want to let everyone know about it. So currently in Foundry, I am running the Alien RPG module. It's a fantastic module. I love this setting. I love the aesthetic. Uh, in this case, this is using one of the uh, packs where the players are supposed to go to a bar. This is the bar layout. It's freaking cool. And they're supposed to meet with a uh, NPC. That NPC is, you know, pretty straightforward, P pick them up pretty easily, uh, and I found this to be kind of boring. I don't want them to walk into a bar and just know exactly who to talk to, so I, I wanted to populate this area with, you know, generic fodder. Uh, the first thing to do would be to manually create dudes. Uh, that's technically possible. It's, pa uh, it's painful, it's time-consuming, and I'm very lazy. The next thing I looked out to is automation. I, I know um, F uh, Foundry has some pretty complex scripting, uh, and you can do some pretty cool stuff with it, but I really haven't dabbled in it. I'm not a, a web dev guy. I don't know JavaScript, but uh, I started looking around at modules to see what's out there. Uh, and I came across one uh, in the Foundry VTT community macros called um, Chartopia Roller. I had no idea what it was. I looked at it. I said, oh, this is a website. I copied and pasted it in. Uh, and basically what Chartopia is, is a website that allows you to create and roll tables. It's not necessarily designed for Foundry VTT, but it has APIs that you can query from Foundry VTT. So let's take a look at uh, one of them and I can talk about it. So here's a name generator. This was not made by me, this was made by somebody else. Uh, but what it does is allows you to combine multiple tables and roll them together. So in this case, you can see uh, this person set the table up to have three subtables. So there's a beginning, a middle, and an end. And when you roll, it combines them all together. So in this case, this name, Azena, is procedurally generated. Uh, I don't know how many options there are, but you can see that you can roll and get basically unlimited names uh, without anything. So this data can be queried and then passed back to Foundry. Uh, I use this as an opportunity to kind of explore more about Chartopia, and I created my own uh, Chartopia alien creation uh, table. It's not too complex. It has its own built-in scripting, so it allows you to do like if statements and stuff. It's pretty cool. So let's take a look at what this looks like. So here is a character sheet. You can just manually scribe that into the Foundry VTT module. But again, I'm, I'm very lazy. I want to have this done automatically. So in this case, I can see his name. It has to be Jim Jones. Uh, his personality, background, personal agenda. The other cool thing about uh, Chartopia that I didn't mention is you can use other people's tables in your table. So this personality, background, and personal agenda system is just someone else's things that I found to be good enough. So in this case, you know, I, I don't even know the results. So there's no kind of metagaming there. Um, so let's take a look at what this looks like in Foundry. So I've got a macro here. I can generate the dude and I'll just do a couple of them. And I've got um, three entities. I don't know what that area is. We're just going to ignore it. Um, but I've got Rebecca Smith here. I can see her age, a personal agenda, a dirty picture of his son. That's weird, but it's procedural generated, so not my, not my problem. Uh, and then again, skills. So I can, I tie this up into everything. So in the case the PCs want to interact with this person, I I know roughly how this person should act, uh, what their personal agenda is, what their signature item is, and I can use this a little more to role play them as a person. Uh, that that makes it more fun for me as a GM. Uh, let's take a look at uh, Johnny Novotny here. Oops. So again, I can see John Novotny's skills, his age. Uh, I can see John Novotny's creepy. He's positive and unkind and ruthless. So that gives me something as a GM to kind of role play. Makes it more engaging for me as a GM, but also more engaging for the players. Uh, this is cool, but you'll notice that, you know, the, the person I need to talk to looks different than the people that are generated. Now, I thought I could just choose a bunch of images and put them in manually, uh, but that takes time, and I'm very lazy. Um, so I spent some time looking around uh, on the Internet, I found a website called generated.photos and basically it's kind of horrifying, kind of cool, but it generates procedural people. And this also has an API and you can hook that into Foundry VTT. So now let's take a look at what this looks like. So in this case, now I'm doing the same exact thing, but now I'm pulling from a different database. looks like that one went too fast um, and visualizing the face. So in this case, um, I've got three people, and now again, they don't look different uh, as the same as this person, but now they have uh, faces. So Haley, um, you know, she's 44, she looks like this, so it gives something for the people to kind of look at, and I think it's super cool. Um, 
the next step, uh, that's that's basically where I'm at now. But uh, again, it shows this is something that you can do in a day. Uh, and I'm not a, a web dev mastermind. Uh, the next step would be to take this from another API and plug it into something to kind of make it look more aesthetically like uh, the, the Aliens universe. So again, it's pretty cool. Let's do it a couple more times just uh, for funsies. So here's Ellen. You can see she looks different. The cool and horrifying thing about this is these people don't exist. These are procedurally generated at runtime when I call their servers. Um, so it's uh, it's pretty cool. So hopefully you guys learned something about this. Um, uh, I'm using I've only got 50 usage of this, but here's another face. So maybe there's a delay in how often you can request it. But you can see that you know now. Instead of having just these generic faces, now I can apply personality. You know, Ellen Novotny here, uh, you know, she's 35. She's vivacious, accomplished, and spontaneous. Um, and this took no effort for me as a GM. So now maybe I don't. I can spend more time practicing or rehearsing or focusing on stuff that I want to focus on instead of building kind of clutter background people. But now as a GM, I know, oh, man, uh, I'm acting as Ellen. Uh, I know I have a child that doesn't know me. <laughs> Uh, and it gives me a little more background as to what I'm trying to do. So hopefully uh, you guys learned something from this and, you know, are feel inspired to look at other things you could do because for someone who is not a, a web dev mastermind, it, this was pretty eye-opening uh, just in what's possible. So thanks.